Hey YouTube, occasionally while driving you'll see a pair of rubber hoses nailed to the road like the ones behind me. These are used for monitoring traffic, but what's interesting is the amount of detail you can actually pull from these two sensor hoses. The two rubber hoses on the road are switches that register every time a vehicle drives over them. As each tire activates the switches, a pair of pulses are recorded. Separating the hoses by a short distance allows them to be used like a linear encoder or like my ping pong ball speed trap. Taking a closer look at the pair of pulses, a number of things can be determined about the vehicle that made them. Knowing how far apart the hoses are on the road and how long it took for the tire to move from the first position to the second, it is possible to calculate the vehicle speed. By comparing the speed of one tire to the next, it is also possible to determine if the vehicle is accelerating or braking. Once the speed is known, it is then possible to determine the type of vehicle it is driven by. Using the calculated speed and the time between when the tires pass over one of the switches, it is possible to calculate the distance between the axles. Depending on the accuracy, it would be possible to determine at least the difference between cars, vans, and trucks, if not the models, based on each vehicle's wheelbase. It is also possible to classify large trucks and buses based on the number and displacement of their axles. Finally, it is also possible to determine the vehicle's direction of travel based on whether the A channel or B channel records the first pulse. To show this in practice, I have two micro switches with their leading edges 12 millimeters apart and a number of cars with different wheel bases. By recording the pulses as the tires activate the switches, it is possible to get simulated traffic data. For each of the three cars, the number of audio samples between the leading edge of each pulse is used to determine the time and calculate the speed of the car. Then the wheelbase can be calculated as well. Although the accuracy is low in this model, it can be increased significantly by using faster switches, a larger displacement, and tires that are much larger than the switches themselves. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.